we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, yeah we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. <laughs> We be on fire, we be lit, lit, lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica White. Well, go on, you know, Madea. But anyway, I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now and go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, our Facebook, our TikTok, our Snapchat, Patreon, you name it, we're on it. Even threads. Y'all got to catch up with us on threads. Anyway, but if you want to see our full length interviews way before these clips come up, you got to support us on YouTube membership. Y'all love what we're doing? Just go ahead and support the brand. We appreciate you and we love your love because we love you back. Wow. That's a lot of love, love, love going exactly. on. Exactly. Show your love for Moonwalker, Boss, which is work. back in the building. Moonwalker's back with mm-hmm. us today, man. Yeah, it's Lord. Say it, man. Yeah, Listen, Lord. man. Hey, the, the song did crazy numbers, man. Then you came yeah, back with Lord. another song, didn't you? Yeah, it's Lord. And it, the cadence was, it, it sounded good. It sounded sure. good. Pretty like, good. like, I mean, you know, when you think about it, coming behind a big hit like you had with that uh, uh, Lizzo, uh-huh. how how did you feel about, you know, coming out with anything else behind that? Well, I feel like the same way I created Lizzo, which was naturally had to keep doing everything the same exact way. Because if you go into a, a studio with the idea of, I'm about to try to outdo this, or try to, not you're, you're, for when you set yourself up for failure, yeah, the music is not creating itself organically the way that it was initially. Like the same way when I did it, you just go back in there, let the music write itself. You know, catch the vibe and keep it going. You know, yeah. Flo- what part of Florida are you in? We about to come down there, Miami. Miami, yes, Lord. You gonna yes, come Lord. see me down there when I'm yeah. there? Man, come on now. You got to pull up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Man, I'm supposed to be down there. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about very what. soon. Cool, cool. Very soon. Yo, 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 man. So, um, you know, a lot of people, um. You know, I, my girls was here today uh, 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 on the come up, and they had issues with you. <laughs> my, my, you should come here for a second, please. I'm pulling uh, that Re- chair up. Reality TV, come here for a second. I want you to Let's get in on this, do one. this man. Yeah, uh, we got one here right now. Oh, look at her, how she come through with them hips. Fix the camera. Look how, look how nice she looking. Yeah. How are you? I'm cool. I'm cool. So. You heard the song, of course, mm-hmm. and uh, you've been you jammed it, of course. but you kind of feel some feel some sort yeah, of way. Yeah, but you kind of you you kind of was like, okay, well, when you heard the <laughs> lyrics and just the way that the, the reality TV is in the building, y'all. Let me say this though, he never said he didn't like skinny women. Let me say that though, he, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Not at all. So I don't want to say that. So what did he say? <laughs> she got a little bit of stomach, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. She gonna let a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. So, yes, Lord. Do they cancel out the people with no stomach? Well, the song was created to show the those show those women that us men are open to loving them oh. openly as well. See, there never had to have been a song made for smaller women or you know women that's on the smaller side. So there was a void there when I created Lizzo. There was never a void when it came down to the smaller women. I don't know, because Lizzo be putting on, so. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. She's a proud representative of Texas, too, as well, right? So, but how do you feel about women getting surgery, then? I feel like you do what you love. Whatever makes you happy inside, that's what you need to do. Would you prefer that? Um, what do you mean, would I prefer a woman who had surgery? I would prefer my woman to do whatever she feels is going to make her happy, because when she's happy and smiling, I'm happy okay. and smiling that she's happy and smiling. Happy wife, happy life. Yes, Lord. Okay. Yes, Lord. We like this. I'm not opposed to it. I feel like, you know, everybody has things that they want to change. They say, if your teeth are out space between, you might want to get braces. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If you got acne on your face, you want to know what I mean? You, mm-hmm. you want to do everything you feel as though it's going to improve you. Even if in, in the eyes of somebody else, you might not be improving, but to you, if it makes you feel better, but some men, love. some men, um, some men love it because they want that perfect looking woman. But some men mm-hmm. love the more natural looking woman. But then, and you have the other spectrum who be saying, you can make those minor alterations as long as it's not life threatening. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because if you go under the knife, anything simple anything or not, can happen. It, anything can happen. But if you use an acne cream or anything like that, yes, mm-hmm. you can have an allergic reaction, but it's true, not. You know, true, but true. there's some things can be taken in a different way right, right so some men be like you know what i prefer for you to be here mm-hmm. so i prefer you natural because i'm not gonna have you take that risk we have kids mm-hmm. we have whatever i can't do without you 
Yeah, love is strong. Like cause, you know, I can't I can't see myself being without you. You was to go under the knife, and this was to happen. Right. But happiness starts from within. Mm -hmm. A man could do whatever he wants to do in his power in order to try to make a woman happy. But if she's not happy within herself, mm -hmm. everything you just did was for no reason. So right. in order for her, if she feel like making herself happy was to go get a tummy tuck or what they call a mommy makeover or mm -hmm. whatever they call, I forgot mm -hmm. what they call it. We can't stand in the way of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The best thing for us to do is support our woman and whatever make her happy. We can like, share our opinion. We're just an opinion at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I would like to say I'm 35 and no surgeries. <laughs> I just, I just to say she just felt like she wanted I to put that out there. I just want to say that this. Um, Thirty five. He said no surgery, so you would never do a surgery. No. Ever. No. No boob job. No, no. none of that stuff. And you don't need it. You look great. I love myself. God made it. I God like, did. I feel like you got to work on yourself from within first, Ooh, and it'll show bars. on the outside. Reality TV in the building. Yes, the realest. Yeah. Period. You just heard you heard it from reality TV that she you need to be built up on the inside yes. in order to understand the outside anyway. True, true. Because you can go out there and spend all the money you want to on that body if you still and you still not gonna inside. be happy. We see it all the time. They That's why they're back, so keep addicted. Going back, keep going back, right? They're addicted to, yeah, right. to perfection. Did anybody see that latest picture of Lil Kim? Uh, she got another surgery. Don't, don't tell know. me, please. Don't, I don't tell know. me. Just that. go check the picture out. Whatever she want to do to make her happy. <laughs> you happy, Lil' Kim. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Would Whatever you ever do a song happy. about that? About the way how um, society is right now searching for perfection. Uh, I think Lizzo was kind of that. You know, to show that... Uh, that it's okay. Yeah, that you don't have to be perfect. You know, you know what I mean? That, that what you see yourself in the mirror, there is a man that's going to find it perfect. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, yeah. I think if I was going there like say, I'm going to make a song like this, I don't think it probably would come out right. Because really? I'll be trying. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So hey, you need something to motivate you to make your music. It has to touch it. You have to be close to the heart. It has to be organic. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something to happen naturally. I got you. Yeah. So what's the next banger that you have coming out? Right now I'm working on my single work. I also have a single called She Wanna. But, you know. Really? Which one is hotter? Remix. Which yeah. one's hotter? Which one? Both of them dope. Uh, she Wanna Fuck has one right now over 5 million streams on it. She Wanna what? She wanna fuck. It's, it's for grown women. It's for the woman who knows. You know that conversation don't have to be had. Because give me a verse out of it. The hottest yeah, verse. Yeah, we want to hear the hottest verse. The hottest verse. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. But um, on one part of the song, it's like you know, just explaining like what it is that a woman wants. You don't want to play no games with. You know what I mean? You don't want no foreplay. You don't want to do all the kissing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No. Just want to get straight to. You want to get straight to it. You know what I mean? And the song work. It's a it's kind of like uh, it's basically expanding the kind of woman that you have to be in order to deal with a guy like me. Mm. Basically saying that if you want to deal with somebody like me, you have to be on the same page. I'm going to go out here and go get it. You cannot be at the house mm. sitting down being lazy. You got to mm. have a uh, go get it mentality yourself. You got to have the opportunity. You like my opportunity should be able to feed your opportunity, and your opportunity should be able to feed my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And if what you, and that song is real to your life. Real to my life, as far as like. The entrepreneurship like i didn't go to school for none of this but i know how to go get a bag you didn't go to school for this you know how to go get the bag we finna figure this out together mm -hmm. know what i mean that type of vibe you understand what i'm saying okay do you have mm -hmm. that special someone yes lord so and she yes, fulfilled lord. all of that yes lord okay. the same thing like the same way like i'm on the road like traveling and doing my thing she's on the road traveling doing her thing as well that's awesome yeah. we love yeah. you that's yes, how long y'all been together six six years yeah. Yeah. yeah okay six. Uh, people in the um in this entertainment industry trying to hold down a steady relationship and you've been into this for uh, six years mm -hmm. how would you advise them how to move and what to do to try to you know hold it together because it's hard for you to be on the road all the time and mm -hmm. i've heard so many times being able to trust a woman being at home by herself or even mm -hmm. being able to take her with you on the road and you know she understand that some of these female fans gonna try to come at me and you can't be mm -hmm. trying to be jealous trying to fight these fans and you know certain things like that well for the safe fans is from the person who's like say like myself right mm -hmm. if the artist is out there going to do this thing you know what i mean if you are the significant other of the artist, you have to understand that this has been that person's dream before you even came into play. Mm -hmm. So as far as the being on the road, as far as what comes along with it, as far as like groupies and things like that, you have to, that comes with it. Mm -hmm. If you have a foundation at the house and you know that your foundation is solid, 
you have absolutely nothing to worry about. But if you already, before a person even gets to that level, you're already going to have a rocky situation. You know what I'm saying? So that foundation has to be laid before y'all even step foot into that world. You know and that saying? foundation has to be laid through communication. Yes, Lord. And not yes, only Lord. communication, because sometimes people can talk, but don't actually follow through with action. Right. So right. it has to, the action has to be able to back up you know, to talk. Right, right. Because, you know, you can talk and say this, but then you be out here doing stuff and you know what I mean? Right, right. So you have to be able to make that person feel like they are number one, that they're most important. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So, I had okay. to stop you. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, this past, yeah. so this past weekend, Cardi B um, was on stage performing in Las Vegas and um, she got something thrown on her. They said a mm -hmm. liquid. Nobody said exactly what kind of liquid or whatever. But when thinking about it, I'm like, Somebody who really don't like you as a performer could have something more than just a drink in their cup. Mm -hmm. Could be acid, it could be their jealousy, whatever, and just throw that on you because you're performing there, they're right there in front of stage, whatever, they don't care, they go to jail, whatever, they're just mm -hmm. trying to mess you up. I'm like, how dangerous is it being that performer on stage knowing that you know you can be vulnerable because yeah, you have security, but security can't be there that quick. You know, you know, you know how safe things is like, you, you guys are married, right? Mm -hmm. When you guys go out to restaurants, like you guys are like super extra cautious. He right. sit with his back to the wall so he can make sure his eyes is on the door he and always. stuff like that. So imagine being a grown man getting into this industry where you know that you have an event or a club or something like that to be to, and everywhere that you're gonna be, that information is on that flyer. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if a person don't like you, it's like, oh, I don't rock with dude. He's gonna be at such and such and such on Thursday. So you always have to have your guard up at all times when it comes to this stuff. Like, just mm -hmm. not on a dolo when you solo by yourself, but when you out in the open, most definitely, you have your eyes have to be like, you, you also got to have people that's looking around for you as well. What's crazy about that, the first some, the first time somebody ever happened to me was the other day in, um, in uh, not in Magnolia, in Texarkana. That happened? No, no one threw nothing at me, okay. but somebody came on stage while I was performing. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm performing, and this girl, Male she, oh, girl. She, yeah, this lady, oh. she was like under the influence or whatever, right. but in the middle of me performing, she just walked on stage, like, you know, stumbling all around, like, mm -hmm. like perform. What did you like, do? She was like, perform Lizzo. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> the security got up out of there. Had to grab. They got off the stage, like, cause he like the security was like on stage too. But that was the first time that ever happened to me. She wow. just like stumbled all on stage. She was like, "Yeah, I'll perform." Perform Lizzo. Lizzo. <laughs> I'm like, I don't try to perform. All right, I got you. It's next. It's coming up. Cause I see things like that where men and men usually like played off. They usually either start trying to dance with a girl or do something, and then wait for security to come and take them mm -hmm. off or something mm -hmm. like that. It'd be so funny the way how you have to play it off because you can't just stop and be like, unless you're like Cardi B where mm -hmm. somebody actually throws something at you. She took that mic and threw it right back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then I think she cussed them out or something. Yeah, at that point it's self-defense. It is. Because yeah. even with the Kevin Gates, Kevin Gates did something like that where yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was a little more flavor though. Uh, the lady, he said that the lady tried, tried to, to grab him. They never, they never did show that part. I, I don't, I don't. I, they never did show that part. That's boy. neither here or there. But if you on stage and a woman try to grab you. Oh, I'm going to get pissed. Yeah, some men, show. some men gonna love. You. No, no, not not why you trying to perform. No, now we trying to perform. Back in the day, I used to see R. Kelly and Keith Sweat. They they used to, like, but they they used to like Kevin, Kevin, they used like to that. Allow what he yeah. talk about eating booty and stuff. But that's that's at the right I'm time. I'm talking about spreading and all these <laughs> other stuff like that. That don't mean come on stage and grab on me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that don't mean you just come up there and just no. start grabbing do men, Do men feel like somebody? defiled when something like yeah, that happens? Yeah, I mean, in, yeah. Yeah. No, because you know, women, like women like, quick to say they're, you know, you're invading our privacy. But men, when some women think about men, they're like, oh, you gonna love that type of thing. Right, man, like for one, gonna... like you always have to like think about what's after this. Like you know what I'm saying? Because like uh, there's a lot of women that come up to me. Like of course you know they want a picture and stuff like that. But some of the women they won't. They want like put their arms around me and like pull me like closer. Like we're like. Now, we can't do all that because no. uh, you can take this picture from here and do whatever you want to do with this say picture. Right. So, no, okay. I don't do all that. so you got to be it's smart more, about yeah. stuff like that, especially if you have a significant other. Like I'm not mm -hmm. gonna let you take this picture with me, ma'am, and then you then make up this whole world in your head. Like no, we're not gonna do that. See, no. I got a question about that too. As in, like we're taking pictures. That's one thing I've always wondered because, like for me personally, if I see a celebrity um, back then that I would go to and say, "Hey, I want a picture," mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk up to you. Hey, you know, can I get a picture? Take mm -hmm. a picture. Thank you, and I'm gone. 
respond. Mm-hmm. I'm not holding no conversation with you. I'm not trying because in my mind personally, I'm thinking that I don't want you to come off or make you feel like I'm gonna be. I'm a groupie. I'm a this. I'm trying right. to get with you. I don't want all that. Right. So I just come to you and say, hey, I want a picture. Okay, thank you, and I'm gone. Do you feel some sort of way if a person does not stop to have a conversation saying, who I love your craft, blah, 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 blah. Or they feel like, you know, you just mm. used me for a picture. Like, dang, nah, I'm a human I, being too, type of thing. No, nah, I, I, never felt, I never felt like that. Uh, and also, like, when it comes out to the conversation, also, it depends on the vibe and the environment and stuff like that. Because sometimes, of course, you know, you feel like having a conversation. Sometimes it's like, whew, thank you for taking that picture. It just, right. You know what I mean? Because sometimes a, pe- a person will take a picture with you and they'll start telling you their whole life mm-hmm. story. They be like, bro, what am I supposed to do with this information? Like, did you just gave me like one dude was like, yeah, bro, my last name Walker. It was like, <laughs> like we relate related like, or okay. something. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that information now that you just told me that? But it, it all it all depends on the situation. I just don't want to feel like I'm bothering you. I don't want you to feel like I'm right. a groupie type of thing and all of that. Right. You right, know. Right. So okay, my next question. I'm gonna go right back onto okay. Cardi B because she was again. I saw another article talking about you know her and that um, lady. Um, Tasha K. Tasha K. Mm-hmm. Because you know that lawsuit and everything. And yes, Cardi B won the lawsuit and mm-hmm. she was supposed to pay her the money, but she didn't pay her the money yet because she said, Sis, she even did a tweet or Instagram post and said, Sis, when I got it, you got it. Don't worry. When I'm up, you're up. But Cardi B wasn't happy. So now they're going after her personal property mm-hmm. about the whole situation. Mm-hmm. What do you feel about that? You think Cardi B should have sit down and wait? No. Or? No. Tell me about it. I feel like, I feel like God sit high and he look low, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you try to cause harm to me, because the words hurt. Yeah. It's like, say for instance, right, if somebody with a platform was to say something negative about somebody with an image, mm-hmm. those words through the wrong ears can go so far and mess up so much. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could have ruined my life with some of the things that you have said. Right. But now you want me to have empathy for your life? Mm. Really? What we do that at? Like, mm-hmm. no, nah, we're not going to do that. If you're going to try, if you could say something that could damage not only my life, my career, and the money that I make from this point moving forward, mm-hmm. I don't have no empathy for you. Mm. Yeah, because when I read upon all the stuff that she said, I was like, but why would is, you say that? Why would you say, do you have the proof? Because that's the first thing. I'm like, why would you say things and you don't have the proof unless it was somebody else, like a guest or somebody who's on your platform saying certain things Then you, you know, you check the guest like, okay, Apparently where's she the... Apparently do that to a lot of people, though. But she was the one saying all of this stuff. Real, and I'm like... Yeah. I, I don't know the whole crock. To, I don't know what was going on with that. I'm going to be real with you. I don't just know what all happened. I'm a Cardi B fan for mm-hmm. sure. I don't really know the other young lady, but I have watched a few of her shows and mm. some of the things she have spoken on I do agree with I ain't gonna lie I've seen her do some good shows I don't know but her. then I've seen her do some bad shows I, I she's like the Wendy William of, mm. of podcasting mm-hmm. right yeah. well, I don't know I don't know her I don't know exactly what it was that she said you haven't seen her you've she, never seen her I know she lost the court she yeah. didn't lose the court <laughs> she did, means, exactly. if you lost the court what they said you did you did. They Most, don't necessarily. I'm about, you, when it comes down to comments and stuff, like we talking about words and stuff like that, like yeah. not, not, it's about not crime, a crime, not crime. Yeah, you gotta switch that because oh, yeah, black folks is in there, man, like, <laughs> no, he didn't. Bro, trust <laughs> me, boy. When I say, when I say, man, I done had to like get some stuff up off me as a youngin, like that. I know I ain't have no no issues with. <laughs> trust me, I know. But when it comes down to comments, like you putting something print and online and stuff like that, like we know that you said this, man. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And these things that you said is not true. You do you think she'll stop or do you think she's just going to keep doing that? Do you think she learned her lesson? I honestly, I, I'm not really familiar. I just know that what she said, <laughs> she lost in court about it. But as far as like her stopping or continuing, I don't know her path. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Wow. It got to be lucrative if she's still doing it, though. Oh, she right. got over a million, million subscribers. She up there with it. And she must have that money because for them to say that she have to pay this much money back in you know, restitution or whatever, then she must have that money. They they see how much money she has. No, they also calculate the damages that you could have caused too. Yeah, but then if I'm broke and you're going to tell me I need to pay 
I mean, how am I gonna pay it? Get it in blood, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it in blood, man. For real. <laughs> let, let me ask you something, man. You the song that I seen. I wanna, you know, elf. I wanna. She yeah, wanna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. But mm -hmm. I mean, she wanna. Uh, what did you? How did you come up with this, this? It says it all. Is this talking about a big girl or a small girl? No, this is talking about a woman who know what she want. No, okay, I'm just saying. He already broke that. Yeah, we talked about that. Okay? <laughs> yeah. He broke it down. We it's already did that. Than what is? What yeah. the? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this song. Yeah, that's yeah, what we it's talked about. In the title, it's not about this. Okay, what is it about? I want to get about. Yeah, he said, he, yeah, he said no woman, foreplay, no none of that stuff. Knowing, you know, standing on what it is that she want. You know, not yeah. playing around with it. She you know, she ain't trying to like do the rose petals and the the champagne. None of that. He's like, yo, look, we come in this room. Let's get to business. All you know. Okay. It doesn't have to be to a one point. night stand type of thing. Nah, it just say if it's like you know when you're in a relationship, you married anything like that. It don't always have to be the slow kiss and the start. Yeah, let's just get like, you want to go to pound. Right, let's right, get right, to it. Right, pound town. You know, what I mean, you know, when you've been in the house <laughs> with somebody for a long time, you walk by your old lady, yeah. smack on the ass real quick. That's that turns into something else. Like did you didn't know it was going to turn. But that's into? foreplay though. I guess you could say that. Yeah, smacking, that's for No, nah, that's, nah, that's, the, that's the wife tax. When that's you pass me. by, I got to slide. Like, that's, that's, that's the wife tax. That's wife tax. You already know. Like, don't pass by me, man. If you're not trying to get slapped on the yeah, ass. That's like, for real. But, I mean, when you look at the music today, man, coming out of Miami, like, mm -hmm. what are you, what are you, what are you seeing that's, that, that you like in this coming out of Miami? The new sound. I like myself. That's it? No, nah, I'm just talking. You crazy. wrong, nah, man. There's a, there a lot of artists that's, that's coming out Show of Miami. Show somebody some love. Uh, DB, Breeze, Shawnee, Swain, Soldier, all from Hero Inc. Amazing artists. Got new music coming, a new project coming from them that's under my label. There's also some other artists from out of Miami that's doing their thing as well. Uh, I like Major Nine. He's a producer. Mike Smith is dope. It's a... A lot of dope people from out of Miami doing their thing. Wow, and and the scenery, man. Like yo, you guys are supposed to have the liveest video with all that water down there. Man, we don't go over there by that water. Why? Man, that's like Disney World in Orlando. That's a tourist attraction. Really? Like y'all like, don't, don't even go on like we yachts. Y'all do go out in the water. Man, we do we do boat stuff whenever we feel like doing something. But on the regular, hell nah. Like I tell people all the time that that it look good. That's a part of Miami, but that ain't Miami. But do it still rain when I came out and it rain for it, five minutes and then stop. Miami weather is bipolar. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning, it could be super cool. By the afternoon, it's hot. By mid afternoon, it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how to dress Miami. Yeah, that's well, I, I know one of my one of my work <laughs> people that be with me. She went down to Miami. I seen some pictures that came online. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna put her out there, but she definitely be in Miami. Yes, Lord. And, uh, it's it's really going down whenever mm -hmm. she and that, her Instagram be popping. Yeah, she out there. She was out there in Miami looking for the hoochie daddies. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, I don't think she was looking for the hoochie daddy. Nah, she was looking she for the hoochie daddy. She, she done got caught up for a little bit, but she mm. back now. <laughs> she back now. <laughs> so, so, man, like, like, what, 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 what do you think about, like, okay, you see people they get in relationships now. Some people get divorced. Is the divorce rate up, low, or is it high? Do you feel like relationships are a big thing? How is social media affecting relationships in your eyes? I think like with all percentages, all percentages are always going to be like the way that you want to see the percentage. So if we say like, okay, 100%, out of 100% of people, 60% of relationships fail because of social media. It's who you see. That's the 60% that they want you to see. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't think social media plays a part in grown relationships. Social media plays a part in relationships with people who are insecure, with people who say things, you ain't got nothing going on, just nothing but a bunch of time on your hand to be sitting there letting things fester and build up in your mind. Like That's the only time social media plays a part of your life. Like You ever met a girl on Facebook? I met my old lady on, on, on oh. Instagram, yeah. Met more later on you Instagram. got in a DM. Yeah, but it was on some business. <laughs> like, I mean, on some business tip. <laughs> that's just like, where that's just where I'm getting in. That's uh, how you started off. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Like, more lady, she has the largest plus size model management company in Florida. Well, in the South, period. Oh, really? Yeah. She put women on billboards all over the country and stuff like that. So that's when dope. I um when her and I met, because I was shooting like music videos and stuff, I can't I didn't have nobody shoot my own music videos, so I started shooting like for myself. And so, you needed the models. Yeah, well, I was like networking and it was went from us networking. Being on the cool to us having conversations every day to you know, turn into something, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, wow. compatible. Yeah. What was yeah. it about her that stood out to you the most? She had the same type of mindset I had. Mm -hmm. Like, I was going out there to go get it. And it was like, 
by any means with or without a job and she had that same mindset Messed up. Uh, let's break down that verse. I always do this. Break down the verses on, uh, you know, she want to, you know what. <laughs> she asked you to do this. No, same. each, I mean, not talk. I mean, I really want to, I'm going to go down through there. Just mm-hmm. give me the first verse and then kind of break it down. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. The verse, uh, girl, you want to be licked from the front to the rear. Girl, I love when you talking your shit. You want to be choked while I'm dogging your shit from the back till you coming all over my dick. Okay. <laughs> you want to be fucked on the edge of the bed while a nigga stand up to the pussy. <laughs> Okay, explain. come rob my face, baby. Put it in gear. Tell you to sit that shit right on my beard. Now this like, is where his mind is at. He's really on your beard, huh? That's bro. where you want it. No, That's, he know them I girls are nasty. nasty. <laughs> them girls want it. Girls want that. Like that. Sometimes, and <laughs> sometimes that that being behind the bush shit just don't yeah. resonate with mm-hmm. some women. That girls oh, love yeah. that. Yeah. Nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now go. Okay. That's the first verse. What the hook like? Both the, what's the hook like? The hook, both legs over like jump man. <laughs> That's the hook. So we like yeah, both legs over like jump man. Yeah. So yeah. But you know what? When I think about the song and think about what you're saying, I'm like, some girls gonna be like, okay, we're gonna play this and we're gonna do every single thing what this oh, song man. is saying. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. like that position, that yeah. everything. Act it out. All right, we gonna have to get this. What's the next verse? <laughs> Oh, what did I say after that? Oh, yeah, you gotta come on with it. <laughs> oh, oh, baby, you like that nasty shit. Want me, oh, you want a nigga to give you that word? Want me to suck on that pussy with two fingers in it? Like I'm trying to see if you squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Why nah, is you cool with it, man. Eyes? Cool you with it, man. You, writing, you be writing, man. You did the Lizzo. You went from Lizzo to this? Man, the beat. <laughs> I ain't writing the song. The beat wrote the song itself. I put you the, went from I put Lizzo to this, on. nigga? I put the beat on and that shit started to write itself. <laughs> <laughs> I just put the beat on and it did it nigga, on his own. You done went from Lizzo to this. I, I'm, what's yes. going on? You were out there, bad. You at the strip club with this song? Why are we doing this they with They going it? crazy with it right they now. They got the beat. And How like, many more women in your DM just because of this song? Um, <laughs> to be able to, I don't count. He don't look in there either too nah. much. He can't. It's, it's, kind, of, it's, kind, of, it's kind of hard to like, really keep up with the DMs now, to be yeah. honest with you. Like, I can imagine. Yeah. But because of the type of song it is, I'm thinking like they'll be like even if more. I mean, I get like the, like, you know, you click on a DM, it might be a video. You click on a DM, it might be a picture or something like that. But yeah. What, what about the mm-hmm. big girls like when you did Lizzo? Like, how many <laughs> other big girls was really like stretching out, you know, come and see you? Uh, give me a oh I love you the big girls want to want to get to you you know I, I had a few big girls trying to get to you here the other mm-hmm. day I'm not lying I'm not lying <laughs> nah, man but it, it, the, the love like as far as like from the plus size women from like either on down to the smaller women it's been like the same all the way across the board like you know what I mean like say if you're like you'll see in the comments smaller women say stuff like oh I'm not plus size at all but I feel like you made this song for B2 you know what mm-hmm. I mean so the love has been like the same across the board Wow. That's hard, man. I mean, like I said, man, you, I seen you in that video. Uh, I seen you in Gutter. Didn't you and Gutter TV do a video together? I seen him in that uh, video. On my way. Yeah, yeah, on my way. What was going mm-hmm. on with that? Shot it down here in Dallas. You was in Dallas? Yes, Lord, I shot that down here in Dallas. Okay. So Matter of fact, you know what's crazy? I shot that video the same day we did the last with, interview here. And y'all finna shoot another one a day, more than likely. Yes, so that's what y'all do. Y'all yes, pivot Lord. here. And yeah. then that's how we make any free throws, nigga, yes, around this home. Yes, Lord. Yeah. What's the song you gonna do the video for that today? One? Honestly, don't know. We ain't know what video we are shooting for that day. <laughs> but if you look at the uh, the um the interview I did with you, I had on that same exact Lakers yeah, jacket. Yeah, that Lakers jacket was hard, we too. We from here. I appreciate it. I went that. straight. We left from here and went straight there and did it. Yeah. Wow! Wow! That's crazy because I'm gonna be real with you. You gotta that work ethic is something else. Like you yes, guys Lord. don't plan. Y'all just go and do. Yes, and I think that's important. You know what I'm saying? I really do because the more you work, the more opportunity there is. The you know what I mean? Because visuals are so important. How important right, is visuals right. when it comes to projects these days? Man, you got to. I don't know if you seen it earlier. I'm walking around with the. I see you. I see like, you. I'm trying to do my own blog and this stuff. That's you know, where you gotta, gotta be, bro. You got to, man. Gotta be on me. Like, bro, look here, man. You gotta make your presence felt. You gotta be online mm-hmm. and make sure that these people see you. Hearing your voice is cool, but they want to. They want to connect to you, you know, connect with you, and be able to see you when they want to see you. So yeah, it's super important. Uh-huh. Yeah, but when you blogging and you're doing all that filming. You're not posting it right away, are you? Um, it depends on what it is that I'm. Um, that I'm. If, if I'm at a club, 
no, I'm mm-hmm. posting that when I'm gone. Like, you know right. what I mean? That's when I post that. But a lot of stuff, because I do a lot of editing stuff myself. Mm-hmm. Like, if you watch the uh, the She Wanna Fuck video at the end of it, it say edited by Moonwalker. Oh, you edited uh, yourself? Yeah. The, the, I know the actual, the, the original video for Lizzo, I shot and edited that video myself. Really? Yeah. So, wow. you know what I mean? But with that, you got to be hands-on when it comes down to social media. You got to know how to create this content and be able to turn it out. Because not only, you, you can't just be an artist no more. You just can't mm-hmm. just create some... Some dope music and just put it out and expect people to just rock with it. Like no, you. But people say the bigger you get, and you can't do everything yourself. You have to yeah. outsource. You know a yeah, lot you, of it. You have to, yeah. But when you on the independent level, either you do it on your own or you're not gonna be able to keep up. Mm-hmm. Because the people that's on the major label, they already have people. They have like these, you know, kids that went to school for stuff. They sitting there creating all type of memes and mm-hmm, TikToks mm-hmm, for the mm-hmm. artists, just passing it over to them. All right, here, post this, post that, mm-hmm, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But when you independent, you got to know how to shoot a video. You got to know how to edit. You got to know how to create your reels. You got to know how to like engage with people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the label, you ain't got no label to do it for you. Right. And I always tell people the main reason for doing it is because when you do hire people to do it for you you can't trust everybody and sometimes people leave you high and dry and then right. if you don't know how to do it then your career is over by the time they leave you you, right. you don't know what to do right you got to be willing to invest in yourself no matter how much it is be it small or a lot you got to be willing to make that investment because mm-hmm. i'm not going to invest in you if you're not willing to invest in yourself that like you got to have that mindset when you're going to even have a conversation with somebody like mm-hmm. they want to see what you did to invest in yourself right well, the thing I got to really, really focus in on is that if you do the video and you do something that's totally different, show some kind of way of you directing and shooting your own video while being in the video. That's dope. Take this whole game to another level. Well, that's dope. Look, look at yeah, you, man. Nigga I, bad right dope, here. Man. If I, if I nigga a, bad right here, nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I should be in a movie telling these yeah. things. Yes, like, but I yes, think Lord. that would be a dope interview. I mean, dope video that nobody hadn't done nothing like that. Right. Real creative, because you always can create two of you, and if you've seen this done before, mm-hmm. it'll be hard. That'd be dope. You it's gotta dope. take your time, take a little more time, yes, but it's definitely doable. Yes, you gonna have him go figuring out how oh, to do it. Oh, he gotta do it. Oh, he yeah. know it's hard. You yeah. know? I don't know, figure out how to shoot myself <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I just gotta figure that part out. <laughs> now you gotta be standing. Yeah, you know? For real. We gotta get somebody with braids. I know. I've yeah. seen them do yes, it. Lord. You know, in movies they shoot them from the back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody with dreads and they yeah. have somebody yeah, just shoot from the back mm-hmm. and wearing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it'll be dope though. <laughs> we gonna kill him. Yeah. We gonna kill him. Gotta see me. Put my put my name on the paperwork, nigga. Stop playing. Yes, Lord. I need mine. I got something over yes, here. A and R, something, nigga. I'm in there. Okay. <laughs> yes, Lord. How did you meet Gutter TV? Like, like, how, how did you guys come together? And how do you guys keep such a great chemistry Man, was, every time I see you guys? I think you told a story last time you was on here. Man, but was, the chemistry is dope. It's God. That's hard. God wanted me to know Gutter. You know what wow. I mean? Like, the, like, truth be told, like, I was a fan of Gutter before Gutter even knew I existed. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, for years, being able to, like, watch his videos and stuff like that. Like, one day I was, like, I was getting a bunch of calls and stuff from record labels and stuff like that, but it's like, I don't have no representative. And I would tell him over later, I'm like, I don't have a representative, like, for none of this. And, like, the next day, my initial first um, manager, Drew, he hit me up with, like, yo, I'm rocking with you, this and that, da 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 So, Drew came into play, boom, we rocking. Yo, my boy Gutter, he want to check you out. Da, 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 da. Gutter came in and played now. Gutter and Drew. Wow, Gutter and Drew. it was God, man. Like, God wanted that to happen because I spoke it. Like, I was like, man, I don't have a manager. And next thing you know, like, a couple days later, I have a management team. That's the way it go. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Gutter. That power went into her life and yes, Lord. all that. Yes, Lord. You know, the, the, the thing I look at is just the, you got to have a structured team. I keep talking about structure lately. Right. To have the right group of people around you for the for for the the, the for the for everything to go the way it needs to go for everything for you to get that to conquer what you're trying to accomplish right. that that takes a chemistry and a team and a structure i got reality tv and i got terry cherry Miss Jamaica, Money Moses. That's mm. the team. Right. That, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But you right. got to have a structure around, you know. Uh, Loso come in every now and then. Uh, different people, you know, but it, the, the core team is always around. And, 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 and then to, 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 to make your worst person your best worst person. I appreciate that. That's big. Right, right. So many people give up on people instead of making your worst person your best worst person. Right. Do you think that's a thing or what? Or do you you know about teams? I think you got to play as a, a person's strength, but also too, like you say, fans is right. 
you may not know what your value is. You know what I'm saying? Let a, allow a person to put you where they feel like, you know what I mean? Where they feel like you might be valuable. If you know you're not valuable, like, bro, this is not, you know what I mean? Find something else for me to do. But also at the same time, like, if you see that your friend got some motion, pick up something and do something. Don't mm-hmm. just expect for somebody to just pick you up and just take you with them. Like, nah, like, if you know that you don't know nothing about t-shirts or whatever, start looking into it so that you could be the go-to guy when you get when you got to get the merch and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Somebody else, okay, cool. We got to carry crates. We got to carry bags. Carry bags. You know what I'm saying? But do something. Don't just sit around somebody and just expect for that opportunity to just be given to you. Nah. That's real. Look, how, how important is it? I see you got like uh, 80,000 and some subscribers on the YouTube. Like, mm-hmm. how important is it for you to establish your own brand and your own YouTube and your mm-hmm. own, you know what I mean? Just your own social media and knowing how to work and maneuver inside of those uh, tools. Yeah. Well, I, I tell people all the time, things like YouTube, for one, YouTube is like having your own TV channel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your viewers are gonna be, they're gonna watch everything that you put on this platform. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with social media. When I say it's like super important, because back in the day, in order to have your video shown, you had to go to like World Star. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you can't you can't go to YouTube and just hit the upload button and upload it yourself. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't have like right now, you can upload a whole music video on Instagram. You can upload a whole music video on Facebook. Back in the day, those options wasn't available. You know what I'm saying? So now that you do got these options, fully take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Wow, there's things that happen like like you see the 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 good things that YouTube has shorts, right? Uh, and not shorts, but uh, has story. They took that away. Um, uh, uh, who else had some? Instagram had IGTV, mm-hmm. uh, and then they took that away, right? Things are always changing. How important it is, is it to stay up on your tools? What's the most relevant? Your reels, whatever it may be, whatever they're trying to do, the way they're trying to maneuver. Right. How how important is it to stay? And I'm giving game, y'all, so y'all better understand right now. I'm giving it to you. Super important because there's a lot of people that stuck in their old methods of doing things and those old methods aren't working. Like, I'll be straight up and down with you. If I've known social media, like the way to use and really utilize it earlier, I probably would have been known a hell of a lot sooner. Like, I didn't know TikTok like that. Like, I told myself when I started to push Lizzo, I was going to push Lizzo, the song, for a year. I was going to be on Instagram for six months, then I was going to transfer over to TikTok and then do the six months. I didn't really know TikTok like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I got over to that platform, I really had to study it. Like, what is this button does? What is this? Who's going here? How do I get this out more? So I really had to study it in order for it to pop. It didn't take long because, like I said, I got the month. It went off on TikTok. How did you like Threads when they added it into Instagram? <sighs> threads, to be honest with you, I don't even know what Threads look like. You haven't, even you haven't been on there yet. Mm-mm. I'm not, cause like I said, with same thing with TikTok. I'm not one of those people that when a new social media platform comes out, and that once again, if I if I was up on things and like ahead of time and like moving with the times, I probably would have been known quicker. But I'm not one of those people that when a new social media platform comes out, I gotta act like a part of the in crowd. And jump on board Like no I'm gonna let y'all Go figure that out first And then y'all tell me What y'all rocking with if, You know what I mean If it's something I should be rocking with I, I never liked Snapchat either I thought Snapchat Was like stupid mm, Cause yeah. some people Some people say They don't like um, threads Because it is, it's attached To your Instagram yeah. So if for some reason You do mess up on threads Or whatever They try mm-hmm. to block you mm-hmm. Like they'll block Both your right. Instagram and your threads because they're connected. Right. Yeah, but like you can't de- you can't delete your threads account. You have to delete your no, Instagram right. as well. That, yeah, mm-hmm. so you can't mess up on either one of them. They both got the same criteria. Right. They mean. say it's a, a so 360 you, deal. <laughs> got a 360 deal. So do you think like like I mean I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, you better make you a dummy thread or something just in case so you can be on top of what you need to be on top of to understand right. if yeah, it pop I'm, off. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I think learning those tools early is important because mm-hmm. if it, it is, is something that's valued, then you want to be able to leverage as soon as it's time. Right. So you right. need to know those tools. I tr- right. I've tried to stay out of stuff, and a lot of times I, I got caught slipping and I lost my way, like YouTube. Right. Certain things we need to be on top of. I was recording, but not putting it there and not taking it serious. Mm-hmm. So we got to do things in a way to where we least investigate it when right, it come right. out the door mm-hmm. to say oh it's this oh but it changed to that it's just right. like if you were gonna buy real estate you want to check on the market while the market is high so you know when it dropped what the value is of what you're trying to purchase right, right. so it's the same thing you just got to know how to maneuver without inside the ram not to expose yourself mm-hmm. in right. a way to where it hurts your brand right well with threads it was a little different for me because threads was initially supposed to be Twitter's replacement. Mm-hmm. So to me, it was like, 
Really? You about to take over Twitter? Ain't nobody finna leave Twitter. Like, cause Twitter been around with just words forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I wasn't in a rush to rush over the threads. If I didn't even know if threads was even go, cause you know how many companies tried to take down Twitter, tried to replace Twitter, and it was just like, come on, man. Yeah, but it, it wasn't up. Mark, though. It wasn't Mark. Mark it was, yeah, you're right. That's a different That's a different right there. They said 100 million people. I was watching at the people. That that it was accumulating, a and day. that's a, so because quickly. you gotta understand yeah. was, that's your connected. fan base. She got a little mm -hmm. bit of time, but that they over there. Right. So right. it's like you you oh, your whole you got people over there. Gutter TV got people over there. Everybody mm -hmm. got people over there, and it's like that's your fan base. They there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do I make sure that they know that that I'm everywhere they go? Yeah, you might be absolutely this, I, you right. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is a hustle. Yeah, so, you're absolutely right when you come down to making that dummy account. Like, there you go. I got a dummy moonwalker account <laughs> yeah, that right. I would carry if I had to make it. Fan page, Check backup page, out. whatever, mm -hmm. and just I'm do it. I'm a hustle. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but it. Were, you on a were you a Twitter person? Were you on I Twitter? I was never a Twitter person. No, okay. but I'm still trying to get the hang of Twitter right now. That's right. another reason Man. you need to go over there, though. You Man. can take this. And it's it a might, little bit easier. My pop me. for you. Twitter, I won't be able to last on Twitter. My flag, my page will get flagged. Mm. On Twitter. Now, I don't know how they flagging your page, where they naked and doing Man. everything on that. It's like when I go on Twitter, it's, every time I go on Twitter, it's a different ass with my music. I'm like, y'all trying to get my page banned. Like, what the hell going I'm on? I'm telling like, you, they, they off the chain on Twitter. On Twitter done turned Snapchat porn, too. Man. Oh. Snapchat too. Snapchat got a situation over there yeah. where they they X-rated your song probably being played over there in yeah. overtime. I'm pretty Twitter sure it turned to porn, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it there. ain't just a porn site. I'm not gonna say that on Boss Talk One Hundred One. <laughs> now we're not gonna, gonna do that, it. huh? What you was gonna call it? Well, it you got some uh, nice uh, ads and stuff rolling over there. You got some nice. <laughs> you got nice, y'all. It's nice <laughs> over there. Let's be real. You've seen Not some nice ads. stuff over there, right? The ads is <laughs> <The> nice. Ads. <laughs> like, like, like. You got nice stuff being displayed over there. Stay mm -hmm. on that thing, man. Yes, Lord. It's like okay, Snapchat <laughs> is like life. Mm -hmm. You got the good and you got the bad. <laughs> that's all it's just what you're looking that's for. That's Instagram too. Mm -hmm. You that's, see what I mean? You but you know what? Too. I look on social fans. media, whereas like Only Facebook fans. and all of that, I mm -hmm. look at it as a, like a big old bully. Because I remember I met this lady once, right? Mm -hmm. And she's a white woman and her name was Karen. Mm -hmm. So she said she used to have a Facebook page. Well, she said she had to disconnect her Facebook page because people on there bullying her, talking about you Karen and saying this, all sorts of stuff to her. And she's an older white lady. <laughs> they call her Karen. I'm like, I'm like, that's her name, but they was yeah. talking all sorts of stuff, bad that's stuff to her. She's a really man. nice, sweet lady. And I was that's like, so messed up, and I was man. like, are you serious? Just catching a stray for no reason. She said reason. some of them is strange, but a lot of them is family too. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up. Your family. <laughs> Say so, so. I mean, when you really, when it boils down to it, man, like you come to Dallas, man, and you come by Boss Talk One One, it's love, man. Like every time, uh, and and it's like, I mean, when you come to Dallas, though, how you liking it out here? Cause you, 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 this year, what? How many times man, you been here now? I can't even call it. But you, so you know the culture. You kind of know the streets. I mean, the, the you been love, South Dallas. You been Oak Cliff. Man, you been, gotta take me all around the world. Damn. When I'm here, man. <laughs> Go take me on all that. Last man. night, my, last night, my boy tried to take me to a taco spot. Right? Is like, that in, down in there in Fuel City? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, like, yeah, man, we got to take you. To. I'm like, bro, I been here. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you acting like you put me up on something. Like, I've been here already, bro. Like, <laughs> but yeah, the love is always, it's always big, it's always huge when I come here, man. I'm connected to a lot of dope artists that's here as put, well. Put so. money moves over here. I gotta, I gotta give him some time over here. I need him. In, I need him. I need him. Come on, money. My Moses, come over here. I need you over here. And his Hawaiian shirt. I promise. Don't he matter. That nigga just coming in on vacation. I got this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, Money Moses. Come on in the building, man. Oh, Lord. Stop playing, man. Money oh, Moses been on vacation. Man, he was in Hawaii. Oh, this man, nigga man. been in Hawaii. Oh, yeah, y'all don't understand. <laughs> Moonwalkers in the building. He listened yes, to the Lord. song and he know the song because he like uh, girls that's got a little size on them too. Okay. So you, it's going to yeah, pick. It had to switch. It had to switch. I don't think yeah, he discriminate. I think he was saying something about, <laughs> about, about BB, BBLs or about, about all the different things that go on with these women when they change their body too. You know, he's had experiences with that. No, mm. damn, I ain't had no experience with that, bro. I yeah. said they just don't look at their kids when they when they doing it. Like kids, by the <laughs> I be, thought you, you ain't never no, had a woman that had never one. Nobody that went through a surgery. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, I didn't know what you said. I, have you ever dated somebody that went through surgery, BBL? Huh? 
Why are you asking that question? <laughs> <laughs> I was huh? just... Huh? Huh? Yeah. I was just wording it the way he <laughs> should. <wording it. laughs> yeah, no, that that's not the problem though. The problem, the problem is, the problem is that they don't look at their kids like the her body didn't change, so it, it wasn't it wasn't no major change to it. So I'm not looking at. That. I'm talking about the ones that got major changes to their bodies, like they going from from 300 pounds to 180. But they might it might be life threatening. They I mean, might that's, need to get that's, surgery. that's understandable. If it's life threatening, then you're supposed to go get it. He went all the way down. No, that's, no, that's 120 pounds. That's not a lot of <laughs> Yeah, it is. That's six months. That, that's a that's a whole person. You that's a, <laughs> literally. But that ain't that ain't crazy though. Man, that is crazy. Maybe the way the body is so it's, it's crazy. Hold on. It's crazy when, when you starting to do it when everybody else do it. Right, right. Like right. If, if, when you, you, you been like surgery, that, when you take the surgery right, you feel Yeah, if you way. been like feel like that, you should have been mm. dead. Don't wait till everybody else start doing to be a well, confident. I seen this one girl with a little bitty leg with a big old butt. I couldn't deal <laughs> little bitty leg, big old butt. You know what I'm saying? I, it's on the it's on the social media. Bro, it's a lot like I that. I done seen it, I said, what the hell is going on? Like I know she it's they, they went to the bullet. It just don't look normal for mm-hmm. like a lot of time. I know it's pressure it's on their legs. I don't know. Some, I don't know. People be overdoing. Is it heavy? It, yeah. It's different type of surgeries and stuff. So, well, I don't know, but I little bit of leg, big old butt. Just you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't do it. Nah, nah. It's hard, man. Like so when you when you heard when you hear like different things going on, money, Mose, I mean, you've seen this show. You've been on this show numerous of times. You are from another Hawaii. Where you been? Cause you got this. <laughs> You got this damn. What is going on with the, what you dressed in, man? It's really because it's hot outside. Oh hell, you ain't been. <laughs> nah, like yeah. you been on vacation. I been on vacation. I been right. on vacation. Niggas got on the hat. I been on vacation. Damn. I just want to let you know I've been on vacation. Where you been? But I, I just came back though. You got that money, didn't you? No, I ain't got no money yet. <laughs> I ain't got no money yet. Well, I'm, I'm going to be real with you, man. Like, you you definitely, man, a lot of people been asking in the comments, like, where you been at? Where at Money Moses? He be gone all the time. Tell him it's a real life struggle. Okay, okay. Gotta Last time you was on here with Chico Bean. Now you're on here with Moonwalker. Let's, Let's go. go. This ain't my Let's first go. time on here with him. Who, who, Moonwalker yeah. or Chico? Yeah, he you was, was on last yeah, time. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about yeah, then. Tripping, bro. I ain't been down there long. I just yeah, been down for a minute. He just gone for a minute. He just long. He just long. So Brittany was on here last time yeah, too. Yeah, Brittany was too. Mm-hmm. So we showed that man love last time. Yes, yeah. yeah. Lord. But yes, that's Lord. hard, man. I like it when a player come together like the A team round this whole. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. Man, so Terry, Terry, you was here last time, no? Mm-hmm. Come on up in the screen. We gotta show Moonwalker love, baby. Let's talk about it. Let, uh, uh, let her, let her say. Uh, watch my camera. Well, let us say. Uh, uh, <laughs> come over in the middle of them. Come on, girl. I wanna ask you guys because you she gonna ask some questions. No, just yeah, just in the middle right here. Uh uh-uh, uh, y'all both can't get a damn mic. My yeah, they can. They they, they little it's enough. My, um, you know what I'm saying? baby. Believe what? that. That he thing put working. them together. Turn it toward her. It's directional. She found the talent. Her voice loud enough. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, leave my girl. So got got I can't, ain't nobody can't know. see her, but on that camera right there, maybe. Y'all already know what it means. Get yeah, in the middle. Got, this scoot camera over. Got to scoot over. So. Not you. Yeah, you I good. You. It's her. She needs to scoot that. Come on, see what, what the hell you want me to do? I'm about to knock that mannequin down. There you go. Come on. See now me? her face blocked on this side. Well, it's cool. It's good. It'll work. Let me turn this camera I'm scooting in. Right hey. hey. Hey, I already know what it is. It's Terry, <laughs> motherfucking chill. Terry, Terry, you here with Moonwalker. Moonwalker, you all right over there? They yes, didn't Lord. push you out the way, you did know, they? No, we good. We you know, good. they aggressive. Hey, what we good? They showed up. They showed up, bro. They showed up aggressive. Hey, man, oh, all you know, know. I already <laughs> see. You heard the lyrics to his you song. You were sitting back. Moonwalk just performed in hometown Friday. What? Yeah. Yes, Lord. You were there? I smell you. You vibe his head right now in Texas County Streets. You know Texas County Streets. Oh, damn. East Texas? You show a lot of East Texas? Man, yes, Lord. I had to pull up, man. Man, that's hard as hell, man. Without me, bro. Yeah, I start calling me. And that's why the girl got on the stage with you, man. <laughs> Shout out to the dapper. Ah! Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, me? Lord, it was at the dapper. Yeah, yes, I'm like, man. Lord. How you know all this, Terry? You know I know everything. She tapped in. You hear me? So, so let me ask you this, Terry. Terry, so, so 
When you heard his song, did you? How did you feel about the lyrics? I, here we go. She got a little bit of stuff, but well, that's okay. Wait, me. wait a minute, wait a minute. When you heard the song, did you feel like okay, this song left me out, or did you feel like this song was all about me and I, I loved it? Let's be real for a minute. Now I love the song because I mean that's the vibe. Like everybody don't sing that motherfucker. Like you know, yeah, like a church song. gospel song, mm, appreciate something it. like that. You know what I'm saying? It's appreciate clean it. like that. But you know what? You could have put out a little thicker thigh. Because you didn't say nothing about Skitty Girl. You said she got a little bit of cake. And you can tell I ain't got no cake. But I got a little enough. I got mm. pancakes. You feel know? well, you me? Know, but it don't so matter. Because both of them jigging a little bit of pancakes, that's okay. Mm -hmm. She gonna let me, You know what I'm saying? Well, I would have felt like that. I those are the words. But, but you it would have been called Lizzo if he would have did that. He said cake. Hey, the case. song wasn't for you, though. <laughs> the you know song wasn't for you. They got songs for you. The song was about body positivity, body yeah. positivity and appreciation as a whole. I love it anyway. You know, I made it's a hard. couple videos to your songs. So. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, you, you, you danced on it. Yeah. Hey, some skinny girls got stomachs, too, now. You said what? They some skinny girls got stomachs, too. <laughs> now, look, we trying, we trying to figure it out. We ain't got enough money to go get BBW. You don't have to. What do you get a what? Get a what? BBW. What does that stand for? Oh, my really just kind of made it look. We know. We know. BBW. Hey, just tuck it. Yeah, tuck it. Yeah, like the big girl do. Just tuck it. Now, see, one thing with skinny girls, only thing we worry about is oatmeal pie. We ain't worried about trying to tuck nothing. Exactly. Man, hold up. Moonwalk. Fresh marks, though. Moonwalk. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, how can bro. people get a hold to you? Cause these niggas done took over the show. Man, Moon Dot Walk on Instagram and also all social media platforms, and I'm also on all your streaming platforms as well. Let me tell you something. It's going down over at Boss Talk 101. We have people like Moonwalker pull up, show us love out of Miami. He flew in just for the interview, just so y'all know. Me that. too. He rocked with us, man. Yes, and Monty Moses we came back from plane. Hawaii. We know it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Monty Moses? Same plane. He came from okay. somewhere, but I don't know what was going on. Thank you. Hold on. Before we go, we got. I got a quick question. Is it why you wearing why you wearing your hair that long? It's oh, spiritual thing. I, no. Now nah, this is you can tell. So you just, no. you just been growing it. That's yeah, how initially, yeah, it's all mine. Initially, when I first started growing my hair, it's because like um, my mom had plaited my hair like right before she had passed away. Uh -huh. So with the plaits I had in my hair, I just let it lock and grow. Okay. And I had, I had like a little issue issue with the police and stuff like that. So. To go to court, I cut all my hair off and started all over. So, oh, really? It's just, yeah. Well, I'm trying to grow mine out like this. It might take a couple years, so I'm using braids. So. I got a question. Man, it ain't been that long. For <laughs> me, so, don't even trip. So, you from Miami? Are you a Miami Heat yes, fan? Lord. I'm a Miami Heat supporter. Not a fan. Now, I'm, anything that's like from Miami, I'm I'm like, this is Emmett. I'm not like no Dow Hart, like, yeah, like D Wade, yeah. Bosch, da da da, da like, like that. I'm a Lakers fan, yeah. but it come down. Yes, Lord. Okay. But when it come down to the Heat, I, if they play against anybody in the world, team heat all day. Okay. Yes, Lord. Wow. Hey, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Hey, man, Monty Moses, appreciate you for pulling back up, man. You been in, where was you at? I got, I don't worry about that. I got some fun, though, but it's off the show. It's oh, gonna, it's, okay. It's, it's going to okay. get, you, get you love from both girls. Damn. At the same time. He got a yes, song Lord. he wants to try to make sure. At the same time. What girls? Whatever girls she he wants. Whatever ones he wants. He's talking about the big girls. Talking about the big girls. No, listen, listen. He's talking about the big, big girls. We get. I mean, the little girls be getting mad at them because the songs he made. So hold on, it don't. I'm finna. I'm finna put it together where they ain't get mad at all. <laughs> they can come together. Okay, go. Wow. All right, then, man. It's, it's been, hey, man, listen, man. Boss Talk 101 makes you guys like and subscribe. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is dope. Yes, Lord. Peace. We out.